Hello, welcome back. It's part three of Final Fantasy VII, and I'm loading my game. Um, I figured I might as well show that. I, I, I don't think I actually clarified what I'm playing this on, though it's probably fairly obvious. Um, I'm playing the uh, PlayStation 4 release of Final Fantasy VII on an actual PlayStation 4. I know, shock, right? Um, I don't even think they have a... Well, I don't think they have any sort of feasible PS4 emulation. I don't know, I haven't really looked into that lately. Um, and yeah, so... <laughs> I'm actually playing the game, um, and I do turn it off. You know, kind of, kind of seems a silly detail to mention, but it—I don't know—I'm a stickler for weird, weird idiosyncratic details like that. Um, in any case, uh, we're in the lower sector four plate. Uh, we're trying to get into the sector five reactor, or is it the sector four? Re we're trying to get to another Mako reactor. We're gonna blow it up. That's that's our mission. Um, also, though, before we even continue on that, um, we're gonna do... We're gonna get another random encounter here. Because I need to... Well, I don't need to, but Cloud and Tifa are getting ready to level up. So, I might as well go ahead and do that. Um, you know, it's a, it's a JRPG. I got I gotta do this. Oh, please, no. Why? That's okay. So, yeah, status ailments, they're a thing. Um, not a big deal, really. I, I, at least I've never felt like they are. Um, I don't know. Uh, magic, cure, cure yourself, girl. Uh, hmm. Huh? Yeah, okay. Is it dead? No? Well, now it's gonna be dead. Right. And I don't know, I feel like I mentioned it in the previous episode, but I guess I could mention it again. But the reason, I could very well have saved that limit and not used it, but um, it's better to just use them, unless you absolutely think you need them if you know that a boss encounter is coming up. Uh, because the more you use them, they start to level up, um, and you gain new limit abilities. So uh, and with certain characters, that's especially important, especially when you start getting to the later stages of the game. Um, those can really make or break certain boss encounters and or just standard enemy encounters. So I, I try to be as um, I try to be as uh, diligent about that as possible. So it may not be the most strategically um, amazing thing, but I feel like it's probably the most uh, efficient way of getting some of these things to really you know get up there in terms of uh, in terms of. Um effectiveness and whatnot. But yeah, so now we're in the uh, second Mako Reactor of the game. Uh, uh, which one is this? Me number 5 Reactor. Yeah, okay, so it's the number 5 Reactor. I was right. So let's go set up the bomb. Uh, or or, or get, into a, get into a fight with some rando, rando turrets, because that's always great. I wish I actually could explain why I do what I do when it comes to these fights, because a lot of times I do like to split up damage between multiple enemies. I don't know if that's really the most efficient way to go about things. Um, and it's just a habit I've picked up over many, many years, and I've never really gotten rid of it. Uh, I don't know, it just kind of feels right to me. I, I think part of it is I feel like there needs to be something going on, and that cursor needs to be moving, if only to make things a little more... Uh, Exciting? I don't. I don't know. Uh, something to that effect. Uh, no. But also too, I do need to do like fights. Like I'm trying my best to make it to where it's not monotonous, but um, it is a JRPG, and by that by that token, it's. You kind of have to get your characters leveled up. Like, that has to be a thing, to some degree. Um, just, if anything, to make the game go smoothly. Uh, especially in a context of a Let's Play, like, I can't imagine there being anything more irritating than just... At least, especially in a JRPG, of a player getting stuck on a boss encounter or something. And just having to do it over and over and over again. Now, what could this be? What is this? Papa, Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, Mako reactor, Shinra. 
I hate them all! I'm sorry, I'm not gonna emote too much with that. I'm not gonna, like, actually yell and scream. Um, doesn't seem like a good idea. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself! You alright? Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. <sighs> Come on, let's hurry. Indeed, let's hurry! <laughs> Right, here we go. And that was it. That's um, that's the number five reactor. It's uh, not a whole lot going on there, really. We just kind of set the bomb and move on. Um, I don't know. It's it's whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of. Let's mosey. As, as Cloud will eventually say. Let's mosey. Which, by holy god, if that is not in Final Fantasy VII Remake, I will get exceptionally pissed. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that um, Tetsuya Nomura did an interview and was asked kind of point blank about it, are, is the re in, in the remake, is Cloud going to be similar to how he actually is in Final Fantasy VII, or is he going to be closer to Advent Children? And Nomura essentially said, yeah, He's he's gonna it's gonna be a final it's gonna be Final Fantasy VII Cloud so um again we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about that um when I and I don't think now is a perfect time to do that but when when that time comes and it will uh we're gonna we're gonna talk about the uh, the how do I put this the fact that for some reason or another. Square Enix took it upon themselves to really, 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 really uh, change the tone and uh, personality of several characters from this game uh, when they decided to make Advent Children and then follow up with the rest of the compilation of Final Fantasy VII stuff. That was kind of a thing back in like the mid-2000s, maybe a little later than that, give or take. Um, We'll, 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 we'll talk about that. The Square Enix does a lot of weird things with this particular game. And I and I, I get it, but then I don't get it. And it's really weird. And like none of their other games, they really don't do it to them like they have done it to this game. In terms of just changing... the Like literally attempting to change the entire perception of how this game went about. Because this game, so far, if you've noticed, it's, it's not exactly like super light-hearted, but it's not like super dire and, and edgelordy and 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 embarrassing like Advent Children was. Or for that matter, Crisis Core, or God help me for the matter that is Dirge of Cerberus. Um, this game is uh, a lot a lot more um, a lot more uh, easygoing, I guess would be the word for it. I think I yeah it does okay that's good good deal. So punch punch yeah punch that cat. Okay. Okay. So now we're about to hit a really kind of funny thing. I I wonder if I can get this on my first try. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to. Um, this is a. This is a little... This game is full of this kind of stuff, by the way. Uh, get used to this. Um, these little weird, like, mini-game sort of deals. So, um, this one in particular I like because it it's kind of... Almost comes out of nowhere, but it kind of sets you up for the rest of the game. So, Tifa. Jesse said we all have to push the button at once. Got it on my first try. There we go. So yeah, you actually have to sync yourself up with uh, Tifa and Barrett, and you have to hit the button by pressing X, and you have to hit it at the same time they do. Th this kind of thing shows up throughout this game. Um, and I don't necessarily dislike it. I mean, I, uh, it's, not, it's not an inherently bad thing, but it can make for some very um, kind of frustrating stuff, I guess, is one way to, one way to look at that. Uh, heal yourself before anything else. Uh, yeah. Gotta say.
say that, honestly, for a game from 1997, I don't mind the look of these character models. Um, outside battle, or especially inside battle, I find that they uh, hold up rather well. And also, too, is a neat little detail. I, I don't know if you, if anybody's noticed this yet, but when I equipped Barrett with his uh, assault gun, when I replaced his original weapon with the assault gun, um, the character model actually uh, reflects that, which is really cool. We're going to do that for both. That was probably extremely wasteful, but I really don't care. I would rather, I would rather waste it and know for sure that I get through something rather than, like, get blindsided later. Uh, this way! Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Shunra soldiers! Ah, shit! What the hell's going on? A trap. <laughs> I've been... I've been excited and waiting for this character to show up. Pr president Shinra? Why is the president here? Huh. Oh. So you all must be, uh, 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 what was it? Avalanche! Don't you forget it! So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see, uh, oh, you. Eh. So you're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche? Huh. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look on your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you became another Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Unless you became another Sephiroth. Wow. Ah, Sephiroth. Now, he was brilliant. Perhaps a little too brilliant. Sephiroth. Don't give a... I don't give a damn about any of that. This place is going up with a big bang soon. Serves you right. <laughs> That's such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you king vermin. So shut up, you jackass. Uh, you know, you're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man. So if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. A dinner? Don't give me that, I ain't even started with you yet. Uh, but, um, I've made arrangements for your playmate for all you all. What's that noise? What was that noise? The hell is that? Yeah, indeed. Oh, good lord. Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. A weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. <laughs> techno soldier? Helicopters. Uh, now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President! Quick, quick! Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Yes, indeed, we do. This could. This could very well be problematic. This is from Soldier? No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up. Fair enough. Fair enough, Barrett. You have a. You have the right head on your shoulders for this. Yeah, so this is like one of the cooler tracks in the game. This is, you know, just this kind of, kind of the standard boss theme. Um, it's really cool. It's very classic Nobuo Uematsu. Lots of electric organ and, um, you know, kind of a rolling rhythm. You know, trying to get you into that mood of like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this thing's ass. Um, and we, as a matter of fact, we are gonna kick this thing's ass. This thing is kind of a joke. Um, sort of. Uh, it, I mean, it, you know, it, if you're by this point, you don't understand the material, like, at the very least, how to heal. <laughs> um, yeah, it c I guess it could be a problem, but overall, it's really not that big a deal. Oh, yeah, turn your back to him. Doing that? Yes. Yes. Good, 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 good. Tear him up. Turn function non-operational. Counterattack. <laughs> okay, so... Go Barrett, yeah, all right. There we go. Hey, I'm doing pretty good with Tifa's, uh, Tifa's stuff now. I feel pretty, I, I feel pretty good about that. 
And I don't know. I don't know if that counted as uh, Tifa using her limit. I don't think it did. Um, here we go. Titan Bangle. Yes. Don't know why I'm excited about that. I guess it's a. Uh, I guess it's exciting. I don't know. I don't even know how long that boss fight lasted. That was like what 20 seconds. It's gonna blow. Let's go, Tifa. Barrett, can't you do something? What is he, a miracle worker? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be all right? I'm gonna be strong. You worry about yourselves, but I'm all right. But take care of Tifa. All right, sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay, hold on. <laughs> if I had the ability to edit that, I would I would probably like add in the I don't know, maybe the Roblox oof sound or um uh Yoda dying in one of the Lego Star Wars games because that's got a really funny sound to it. You all right? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Uh, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello, hello. <laughs> I know. Hey, hey, who are you? Um, hello. Uh, you okay? This is a church in the Sector Fly... Sector Fly... <laughs> the Sector 5 slums. Uh, you just fell from above. Uh, you really gave me a scare. I came crashing down. Yeah, the roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Yeah, lucky to have fell, fallen through a roof. <laughs> flower bed. Is this yours? Uh, sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. <laughs> Gotta love the shrug shoulder stuff. Uh, okay, now I got full control. Let's talk to her again. Who are you? So, we meet again. Alright. Cloud having to think. Don't you remember me? I do remember you. You were slam you were slam drunk. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy! You didn't buy any flowers from me though. Hm. What an ass. Well, that's okay. Say, do you have any materia? Yeah, some. Uh, nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. <laughs> good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, no, I do. It just doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> I feel safe just having it, though. It was my mother's. I say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are, meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here! I've got to check my flowers, so it'll be just a minute. Just a little longer. Oh! Now that you mention it. Uh, we don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... Eris. So here's Eris. 
It's Eris. Everybody knows Eris, I think. Everybody knows everything about this game, honestly. And I think that anybody who really thinks they're going to be spoiled by a, over a 20-year-old game, I just... Uh, but we're not... We'll, we'll keep... I won't make any jokes at the expense, and I certainly, I certainly will talk about this when we, when it becomes per, per, or pertinent. But for now, it's Eris, the Flower Girl. Nice to meet you. I'm the name's Cloud. Oh now, who the hell is this walking in the back? Could it be one of my favorite characters? <laughs> Me, I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? I I'm sorry, I just, uh... Oh. Sorry, uh, bad timing on my part. Cloud, don't let it get to you! Don't mind me. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? Uh, you can do anything, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, uh, then get me out of here. Take me home. <laughs> okay, but it's gonna cost you. Okay, well, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? Yeah, okay, that's mm, fair. I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I do know you. That uniform. <laughs> hey sis, this one, <laughs> he's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Rito, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. <laughs> the exit is back there. Those were Mako eyes. Yeah. All right. Come on. Get to work. <laughs> oh. And uh, don't step on the flowers. Well, you step. What? 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 Rabble! 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 All right. So. That's Reno. He's part of the Turks. We'll learn a little bit more about them as the game continues. There they are! Over there! Um, I really like Reno. I think he's really cool. He's sassy. He's the sassy Turk. Cloud, that one! I know. Looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Oh, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Eris, this way! No, fuck that. Uh, sorry, no. Alright, I'll hold them off. Right. Make sure they don't get through. Uh, the Ancient is getting away. Attack! Yeah! <laughs> or, yeah! <laughs> Maybe she's making, like, a Street Fighter, like, when you, like, Street Fighter 2, when you, when you knock out, uh, Chun-Li. <laughs> Eris! Think we killed him? Uh, they never should have fought us. Cloud, help! Okay. I will do my best. What's that? Hey, well, hold on! Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can do this right. My uh, my initial playthrough of this game, I did this so wrong, it was stupid. So we're gonna try and see if I get this right now. Bam! That's one. <laughs> Thanks, Cloud! Cloud, help. Um, hold on a minute. I think it's this one. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. I didn't realize there were random battles up here. Crap. Damn. Alright. So we got a little few goblins here. Take them out. 
I guess they're goblins? I'm not really sure what they are. Goblins! Goblins! I don't... I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. Frog things, little frog toadettes, I don't know. Again, this music really kind of Mickey Mousing the situation, but I don't mind it because it's just, it's appropriate. Oh, hey, that, okay. I can live with that. Here's a barrel. If I can just push it over, yeah, push it over. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I wonder if you get anything special for doing this this way. I doubt it, but then again... Uh. Cloud, help! Okay. Hold on a minute. Because I feel like they wouldn't let, they wouldn't do this unless there was like a reason, like... Right, a little bit of extra experience points, keeping things a little exciting. Um, also, too, uh, we're about to get out of this church. We're about done uh, with this little sequence. Uh, it's, you know... Uh, but I, I implore anyone viewing this to, to pay very close attention um, to, the, uh, um, to the church itself when we step outside. It's a, it's a bit of a doozy. Um, I, uh... It... It calls into question a, a matter of proportions, and I, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see, but just be ready for it. Okay, because we need to meet you. Where are you at? Come on, girl. Come on, girlfriend. Let's go. Okay. Eris, this way. Wow, Cloud just left her in the dust. Alright, that church. Look at that church. That makes no sense. I understand why it's done that way, but that makes no visual sense. It's like it's like there's a non-Euclidean space within that church. This is a church of, like, eldritch terrors, apparently. <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. <laughs> They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. Oh, they're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, the works. Uh, they look like it. Uh, why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I, I think they believe I have what it takes to be in soldier. Uh, maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Well, then let's go. Let's go. Hopping over the trash. Okay, wait, wait, I said. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Slow down. Don't leave me funny. I thought you were cut out to be in soldier. Oh, you're terrible. This may be true. He might be terrible. Hey, uh, Cloud, were you ever in soldier? Hmm. I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako, a mark of a soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come. That sounds like a great idea, Eris. Let's do that. And save our game real quick.
That guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers with Ooh, or Ooh, Ooh. Could be a zombie. Ooh. This guy is sick. He passed out nearby and someone must have helped him here. This is the one. Won't you help him? Listen, I'm no doctor. Oh, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. I think it is the number two. Maybe we'll learn something about that soon. Who knows? Maybe, possibly, who knows? Okay, real quick, uh, let me go to equipment. We want to switch that out for that. And that for that. I think. Though, I don't know. I Taking care of yourself is the law of the slums, but to do that, first you need weapons, right? Uh, yeah, we're going to buy... I'm going to buy three of those. Uh, three more of those. Try to stay on top of this business as much as I can. Uh, you, you know, this game will sneak up on you eventually. And, like, you'll think, oh, I'm good to go. And then it turns out, uh, no, actually you're not. What am I doing? I'm walking around looking at the ground. You find a lot of things people dropped when you look down. You never find them when you're looking up, right? Okay. What you got? We only trade items for gill here. Again, just, you know, just stocking up just in case. Um, admittedly, this game is not really that difficult. I don't care if it's scrap metal or materia. We can get anything here in the slums. Got a lot of good materia here. Why don't you look it over, stranger? I got a lot of nice things for you, stranger. <coughs> We're gonna get fire. That's for damn sure. Okay. Um... Still not, still not utilizing that all materia. But to be honest, I, I, I have re well, not even reasons. I, j I just tend to be very anal about that for whatever reason. Also, I keep trying to go down there, and that's not a way to go. This is a way to go. This is the way to go. In fact, we're gonna go over here to this pretty little garden because we have this cover materia, which we're gonna immediately give to Cloud. Um, I find that the cover stuff is helpful because one, it allows Cloud to take hits for other allies, yes. And also two, when he takes hits for other allies, it actually builds his limit gauge. So it, it's like acting almost as a random chance of just getting extra limit gauge. Um, it's very, very good early in the game. In fact, it's really good just throughout the game. So, I'm home, Mom. This is Cloud, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You were followed again? Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? I'm all right. I had Cloud with me. Oh, thank you, Cloud. Uh, so what are we going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Tifa's bar. T is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girlfriend? Girlfriend? No way. <laughs> you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see. Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. What do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Look, well, look. I don't know. Getting help from a girl. Ooh. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking this cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. <laughs> B 
But, dear, I, c I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Eris, please go make the bed. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah, or I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but... Um, could you please leave here tonight without telling Eris? Soldier. The last thing Eris needs is to get hurt again. Hmm, what does that mean, I wonder? What could that very well mean? We'll find out eventually at some point. I'm not going to tell you now, but... You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little uh, dangerous, so you'd better get some rest tonight. Yeah, okay. Cloud, uh, good night. <sighs> oh, man. seem pretty tired. Hmm? Uh, I haven't slept in a bed like this uh, for a long time. Oh, yeah. Ever since then. My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you had just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm all right. You should have an older girlfriend, one that'll take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Oh, nice. I've been wondering why I'm walking. This is actually kind of funny. Um, let me make sure there's nothing else there. Um, if you if you try to run through here, the uh, floor creaks and Eris will hear you. And we're trying to get out of here without causing a stir. I think you can run down here, but just for the, the role-playing aspect of it. Whoa. You're up bright and early. Ugh. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? <laughs> Look, you have to go to the slum in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. <sighs> whatever. Uh, whatever. We'll go a little bit further. We we just gotta get to a nice little stopping point. Well, oh dear, oh dearie me. So we're giant, we're fighting a giant house. I, I um I, I don't I don't really think I have to explain any more than that. Um I really do genuinely like the uh, enemy design throughout this game. There's there's quite a few good ones. Oh shit. Um it's uh it's kinda interesting to see how um Squaresoft at the time took to uh oh my god. Please kill it. Um, how they took from going to 2D sprites to 3D models uh, for battles like this. Um, they did a really good job, I think. And there's a lot of inventive and, and very cool, unique uh, enemy designs. In fact, the enemies that don't really show up in any other Final Fantasy game show up in this game, which is very cool. Um, totally dig that. And we're... Whew, that was... Um, I'm not going to lie. I started, I started sweating a little bit there. I honestly thought that was about to go very badly. Um, but thankfully it didn't. Also surprised that you could actually walk on that. You have no idea. The first time I played the game, I could not figure out that that was something you could walk up. So, Alright, the gate to Sector 7's in here. 
Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You're gonna be alright going home, right? Oh no, whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? I could do that, but won't I be in your way? What do you mean in the way? Nothing. Can we take a break? Yeah, I guess we can. What choice do I have in this situation? I can't believe it's still here. Cloud, over here! Yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever, girl. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was, uh, first class. Just the same as him. The same as who? Uh, my first boyfriend. Were you, uh, serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Huh. Hey, back there. T Tifa? Oh, that girl in the cart was Tifa? Where, where was she going? She looked, um, kind of odd. Let's go. Wait. I'll go alone. You go home. God damn it, Eris. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Where will this take us? To a connecting tunnel. Not really, but... Ah, uh, one of my favorite sections of the game. And incidentally, and I guess unfortunately, a perfect stopping point. So we're going to hit that save point here quickly and then... That'll be the end of this episode, but uh, you've got lots to look forward to. Um, we are now in a spot. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl, so we've got to find Tifa fast. We are in what is called Wall Market, and this is a really kind of goofy, kind of cool section of the game. And I can't wait to get on through it, uh, but as I said, it's a perfect stopping point. Um, so, yeah, next episode, we're gonna, we're gonna explore Wall Market, and we're gonna take a look at what's up here. Um, so yeah, hopefully, if you've been watching, um, and you've been enjoying yourself, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, if you want, at your leisure, I don't care. Um, and, uh, thank you, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Hope you have a nice rest of your day or evening, um, and hopefully you'll join me for the next episode. Thank you, and thanks again for watching. Ta-ta.